Hey everybody, I'm Sari Custer and this is Sari on Science for Arizona Science Center. As you can see, I'm here at the Science Center. I have some familiar looking objects with me because we are talking about that crazy event happening this weekend that you may have heard about, the Wolf Blood Moon. Okay, it sounds totally crazy, like something out of a sci-fi novel, uh, and I can't guarantee that nothing crazy will happen, but scientifically, we're just gonna see a very interesting celestial event and that is all. So, what on earth is happening? All right, so this Sunday night, the 20th, we've got a perfect lineup. You recognize the sun, the earth, and hopefully the moon. Um, if you don't know, the earth goes around the sun. Now, the moon goes around the earth. The path of the moon is actually elliptical. It's not quite circular, it's like a stretched out circle. It goes oblong. Now, this weekend, we're gonna see something very spectacular. We're gonna see a lunar eclipse. That's really what that media buzz is all about. When that happens, normally when we see a full moon, so the path of the moon takes it, so it's either you know down here or up here, and we get the full effect of the sun reflecting off the moon. Now with a lunar eclipse, the earth gets in the way. The moon's down here, the earth blocks the sun's rays, and it starts to block it out. But a little bit of that sunlight seeps around the edges of the earth, goes through our atmosphere, and only lets a little bit of red light through, making the moon look red. You can see this image here behind me. Looks a little red, kind of gray, kind of green, but that's why we call it a blue, uh, excuse me, a blood moon. We get that red tinge. Now, so we said a lot of words in that title. Super, wolf, blood, moon. We covered the blood part. It is an eclipse. Wolf because it's happening in January and super because it goes back to that elliptical orbit. Sometimes the moon's a little bit further away and sometimes it's close. Now this full moon is happening when the moon is closest to the earth, making it look a little bit bigger and a little bit brighter. So we've got a super moon when it's closest to the earth, that red tinge happening to make it a blood moon and happening in January. So super wolf blood moon. Now you're in luck because you get a chance to see it here in Phoenix, like I said, this Sunday night, the 20th. It'll start right around 7.30, but when it gets to totality, so when it's really blocking out that light, you're gonna see it right around 9.40. And it's gonna last for about an hour. So all of this is happening in the evening. You're gonna chance to see it before midnight. It's not before your bedtime or maybe a little bit after. You can stay up a little late if usually your bedtime's earlier. But since it's happening on MLK Day, you can sleep in a tad and then come down to the Science Center. We are open on MLK Day. You can come learn a little bit more about what happened, what you saw, and of course our Dorrance Planetarium is open with shows happening all day long. You can talk to our experts, ask questions of our blue crew, learn anything you'd want to know about space science, um, and of course share what you saw. Oh, and on Sunday when you're going out to look at this, you don't even need anything special. You might have a telescope, awesome. If you've got uh, binoculars, kind of like this, that'll work too, but really all you need is your naked eye. So before you come on down to the Science Center next Monday, you're gonna go outside at night on the 20th, you're gonna look at that super wolf blood moon and go on social media right here, give us your comments, show us your pictures, talk about it, and get really excited about the only total lunar eclipse that's happening in 2019. We're not gonna see another one until 2021. So this is your opportunity, have some fun, get out there, do some science. Now, of course, if you want a little more information about the Science Center and when you come down, check us at azscience.org. And until then, we'll see you next time with Sarah on Science.